Hi friends, here I'm sharing the recipe of dal of urad or mash dal. It's super easy to make and for this you need very few ingredients. Must give this recipe a try and you will find it quite flavorful and moist at the same time. But before starting the recipe, if you are new here, hope you will consider to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for latest videos. For this, I soaked around 2.5 cups of mash dal in 3.5 cups of water for an hour. Prior to soak, I rinse the dal 2-3 to three times, then I add water, which I'm gonna use later for cooking. In ingredients, first I have a half onion. I had a large, so I'm using half. From this onion, I'm saving some for later use for tarka. In this plate, I have 5-6 to six garlic cloves, 1 inch piece of ginger, 1 tomato, 5-6 to six green chilies, and 1 teaspoon of whole coriander. Over this side, I have salt, 1 teaspoon, turmeric, half teaspoon, 1 teaspoon of crushed red pepper, half teaspoon of chili powder, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. Now in the pot, I'm going to add some oil, and in the oil, I'm going to add onions, and wait till it turns into translucent to light brown. Meanwhile, the onion is getting brown. I'm going to grind all the ingredients of this plate. Now the tips of the onion is getting brown. At this point, I'm going to add all the grinded ingredient paste into the pot. Make sure do not brown your onions, otherwise it's going to change the taste. After adding the mixture, mix it for a minute. After a minute, add all the spices and mix it further for 2 minutes. After 2-3 to three minutes, when masala starts to separate from the oil, we'll add soaked dal mash along with the water into the pot. Dal mash is prone to stick to the bottom of pan while cooking, so it's better to use heavy bottom or non-stick pan. After adding the dal, give it a mix and cover the lid and leave it on medium flame for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, lower the flame and check the dal. The dal will be settled down at the bottom of the pan, give it a mix with a gentle hand and cook it further for 20 minutes on medium to low flame. At this point, there is not much liquid behind in the pot. I am adding one chopped green chili in it. Give it a mix and cover the lid until the dal well done and the water dries out. The well soaked dal mash takes around good 45 minutes to get fully tender. As you can see the water bubbles on top of the dal, the dal is fully tender and water evaporated. Now I'm going to make tarka for the dal. For tarka or bigar, I'm taking one dash of garam seeds or edge wine, one dried button pepper and some julienne cut ginger. In the pan I have some oil and onion. Now wait for the onion to start to get brown. Turn off the heat and add all the ingredients into the pan. Now the turka is ready, pour it over the dal. Now in another pan, dry roast 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. Make sure do not burn the seeds while roasting. After roasting, grind the cumin. This freshly roasted ground cumin brings another level of flavor and aroma into the dal. Now sprinkle this crushed cumin and cilantro leaves on top. The moist and tasty dal mash is ready. Hope your turns out good as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.